Hey guys, it's me, Ronald it's Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather here. And this last surge of atmospheric river moisture is absolutely producing. Take a look at Mammoth Mountain here, the live cams. Busy day up there for sure. 30 to 36 inches of new snow in the last 24 hours, and it's 16 degrees. That's some pretty good snow quality. Um, so that's Mammoth. Um, let me show you Kirkwood. 29 inches in the last 24 hours, almost 4 feet in the last 48 hours. Look at their 7-day number. <laughs> 89 inches. Incredible. Um, and a season total of 341. A 367 season total so far at Mammoth. So you compare that to Alta, for example, still leading the pack at 387 for the season, but they had another 15 in the last 24 hours, and you've got more coming. Um, there's another low pressure. So the low hitting California now is low one. There's a second low that's going to sweep in. In fact, let me just pull this up on, on the water vapor. There's a second low. Let me mark it so you understand what's going on. So there's your big first low. Well, there's a second low right here that will come in on the heels of low one, and it's going to be more of a southern track low. So it'll come through California, head towards the four corners, and then sweep down into Colorado, New Mexico after that. That's the second low, and that marks the end of the atmospheric river. So what will happen down the road, and let me just find an appropriate color here, is we're going to see more ridging on the back side of this. So we're going to see kind of like a high pressure ridge try to set up and that's going to move towards the west coast and, and reorient the jet stream down the road. And so down the road the jet stream is going to take more of a northwest flow type of pattern um, that didn't look good. It's going to take more of a northwest flow type of pattern, and there's going to be little ripples of energy that come down after 117 that start to hit Montana, the Pacific Northwest, Banff, Wyoming, brushing Utah and hitting Colorado. That's going to be the new pattern after 117. All right, let me go back and show you... Um, some of my bullet points here. So pattern shift after 117, that's what I was just alluding to, but we're going to continue to see big totals until that happens between now and then with the second low. The Northeast is an interesting um, situation and story. Um, there are two to three different storm systems, especially Maine. Maine will probably get the biggest totals. You're going to have wraparound snow from one and then two additional storm systems on top of that. And I'll look at the, uh, the totals for that coming up in just a few minutes. Let me go back and show you what this is going to look like. So this is the forecast radar and satellite. Here's Monday morning at 6. Here comes the second low southern track coming through the four corners. Um, there's Tuesday morning at 6. Here's Wednesday morning at 6. Colorado, New Mexico getting snow. Then it moves away. And then look at the pattern. Northwest flow brings in the action, sliding down the jet all the way through Friday. And there's Friday at 11 p.m. So that's the, that's the transition period after 117. All right, let's look at the numbers. All right, so here's the jet, first of all. Look at the difference. On 124, it's coming out of the Pacific Northwest, tracking down through Montana, Wyoming, and uh, into Colorado. So it, notice the ridging off the west coast of California at that point, and the big amplitude trough, um, the low trough in the atmosphere, that trough sitting over the uh, area north of Hawaii. Um, so what does, that, what does that do to the totals? Well, here's 115 through 117, another 1 to 2 feet with the second low in California, another 1 to 2 feet in the, in the Wasatch with the second low pressure system. And pretty good totals through Snow Bowl and Bryan Head because it's a southern track low. And in Colorado, the southwest mountains get 1 to 2 feet. Everybody else is more in the 4 to 10, 4 to 12 inch category across I-70 North. Um, so if you're in southern Colorado, you're going to get more. All right, here is... Um, the second period, 118 through 124, the whole pattern shifts to the Pacific Northwest. You've got three to four feet coming there. And then pretty good snow from Brundage North and the Schweitzer. Um, and actually, this looks like a decent period, late in the period, through parts of uh, Banff Sunshine. I like that. Uh, another foot for the Tetons, half a foot for the Wasatch, and in Colorado, another four to 12. Heaviest I-70 North as that Northwest flow delivers some of the better totals. All right, let's look at the Northeast. So this is 116 through 124, and look, big numbers, Vermont, New Hampshire, and especially Maine, because again, you're probably in Maine getting the influence of three different storm systems, whereas most of uh, Vermont, New Hampshire get potentially two storm systems. Um, so there you go. Good totals running through most of uh, Sugarloaf, Sunday River, and Mount Washington. This assumes 
that storms two and three actually happen and those are further down the road. Um, so we'll end on this map. Um, again, the atmospheric river ends on or about 117. So what you see here in 118 through 124 is just a new pattern altogether. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care.